Yes. We will cooperate with you hundred percent. Yes. 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 Look at us. Luther, don't let us look at you. Just go ahead. Take anything you want to take. Anything. We have to get here. We have some fun here too. Just don't have any of fun. Please. <laughs> Fool! Do we look like ham rollers? We are not ham rollers. Uh -huh. uh, no, the casualty will not be done for us. Boss, no time. We kill for a day. We are assassins. Sir, just tell us anything you want us to do for you. Please, sir. Quiet. There is nothing that you can do. <laughs> Listen! We are here. It's both bad and good. Mm -hmm. The good news is that we are here not to kill you. We do that. Sure. The bad news is that one of you has less than two minutes. Jesus! Jesus! Oh my God! Who did that all day? What did I do wrong? Don't kill me! Please! 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 Don't, don't, don't kill my husband! He's an easygoing man of God, please! <laughs> Can you imagine? Who's the choice? This is my photograph. This is my photograph. Mrs. Joseph! You have less than 60 seconds. Ah! Sam! Please give me a My wife just got to die. Please! Please, sir. Nobody deserves to die. Quiet! Take her away! <laughs> My dear, my dear, ah, yay, ha, yay, stand up. My wife did not deserve to die. She was a very pleasant woman. Very pleasant. Submissive. God fearing. Prayerful and tolerant. Oh God, why? Who did this? God. A higher assassin killed my wife. For what? I dare pass to Joseph. Take that, okay? It is well. You see, the sudden demise of your wife came to all of us as a very rude shock. But who are we to question God? It is our prayer that the Lord God of heaven will comfort you by himself. Amen. 
the Holy Spirit and the Comforter will comfort you. Amen. Please take heart. Take heart, please. I can never be balanced in life again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I've lost the angel that God gave me. Oh, Jesus. He was my mother. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sir. Wow. Although she told me about the business, what? I never knew it is this big. She was the master brain behind everything we did. Mm. It's just that it is painful that she did not want to see the great process from a great intelligence. <sighs> So brilliant accountant mm. and God very Sir, we would like to be on our way. Thank you so much, Mr. Wolabi and Mrs. Okafo. Thank you so much for this. I also want to admonish you to please be prepared for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. My beloved wife never knew she was going to exit mm. this sinful world. Mm. The day the Lord called our home. This world isn't our home. This is not where we belong. If you have not surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please do so. God bless you. Amen. Oh my Jesus. God. May God comfort you. Amen. And be your strength. Amen. In this dry time, sir. Amen. Yeah. He has comforted me. Mm. He has wiped my tears. My tears are not those of grief. Thank you, Just Jesus. that. I honestly look forward to the day where both of us will meet with Jesus Christ in heaven. The consolation is that someday on the resurrection morning, we shall meet again. Amen. I will definitely see her again. I will see you again. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. My comforter. You are welcome. Yeah. 
stroke. Matthew chapter 8 from verse 23. Read. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, hmm. in so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, what manner of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? Hmm. Joseph. Hmm. Jesus, your savior, is still the master over storms of life. Trust him. Trust him. <laughs> As for the check in your hand, it's a seed, and you shall be given instructions on what to do with it. <sighs> Joseph. Let's go. Shake. Let's go. Shake. Come. Shake. Come. Shake. Shake. Wake up. Hey. Oh my yes. God. Shake. Oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shake. Wake up. Wake up. Shake. Move. 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 Shake. Wow. Open the door now. Shake. 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 Hey. Shake. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Man, I do not need to lie to you. Your wife is critically ill. In fact, as we speak, she's dying. We discovered that she has what we call ruptured ectopic pregnancy. Now, see the blood here? This is what we tapped from her abdomen. She has been bleeding inside seriously. So, why are you telling me all this? Uh, do your job! Excuse you? Mr. Man, you do not get to tell me how to do my job. I just told you that your wife is in a critical condition. And if nothing is done in the next few minutes, she will die. And you will be liable, sir. 
Doctor, I know that you don't know me. And I am sure that you will not want to know me. But if my wife dies, then you will know me. I am dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. All right, all right. Your wife needs to go in for an emergency surgery. Just take her in. We need money, sir. Money. Uh, how much? Um, four hundred fifty thousand naira. Four hundred and fifty thousand naira. Yeah. You mean if it is your wife that is lying down there dying? You won't take her here for the necessary operation until the sum of 450,000 naira is paid? Listen, Mr. Man. You need to make at least a down payment. Even if it's just 200,000, you need to drop something. This is not a philanthropic center. That you know. is your problem. Do something. Do something. Hey. In fact, start to do something to save Ashake's life. I'll be back in 10 minutes. What? Wait, wait, wait. 10 minutes? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Man, you are joking. In that case, we can only do two things right now. Okay? Is it that you put it in writing and append your signature to it? That you are the one that asked us to wait for 10 minutes? Or I refer you to a general hospital right away? Why? Are you so weak? Oh. You mean you want to refer her in that condition? What if she got caught up in a traffic? What happens? Mr. Man, you are the wicked one here. I mean, who does that? Who brings a person to the hospital in that critical condition with no dying? You are wicked, sir. God helps. She dies. Where are you, I see who did it. Hey! Oh, go get the killer, man! Oh, God! The number one killer, man! Ah, hello! Sorry, they look at me. Oh, God, don't come. Hey, he don't come. 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 Hey, he don't come. He don't come. Hey, he don't come. Ah! I happy as I see you like this. <laughs> two, 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 two. <laughs> now you be the the number one killer. Hey, boss man. <laughs> I don't check chief for down. You know day. Now dad then tell me, see now here in day. Yeah. Boss man. I don't like all this now. How your face can't be like this? See how you did frown for your person now? Where eh? Maybe you are conceived. Achieve. <sighs> Boss man. You know if it's now. You know if it's see, chief. Chief say, see, listen. Chief don't want me say, if anybody asks for him, see make I tell them, say, you know, they are around. Even in mama, if you won't see him, see me can tell him, say, in no day, I beg, you go wait small. 
Daar is alles iets. You go open these gates, I'll make it big on them for you. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, small. Hey. Hey, what? Oh, chief, chief. Are they come? Are they come now? Are they come? Chief never come out now. Chief, I've been the call your number. You know, peak. Why? Why? Killer, what is it? My wife is dying in the hospital. Doctor said that her case is critical and she needs an emergency surgery if she's not going to die. Sorry about that. Chief, you are my last hope. I have been to several places. Nobody was willing to help. Chief, I need your help. How much are we talking about? How much is the money? Doctor said that everything is 450,000. But that um, with 200,000 naira, they can start the search. I think you are beginning to step out of your boundaries. Wait, what makes you think I'm indebted to you, killer? Ah. I just sent you and your boy some money, and now you are coming to ask me for more money? Ah. Oh, is it because I asked you to do some classified works? <laughs> you are mistaken. This is what I have. Who the cap is? Is my wife. What are you telling me? It's not up to three hours that I left that place. I will soon be there with the money. Not necessary again. What? No! Ah! No! Azake! 
Ashake. Bossman. Ashake. Ah, ah, Bossman. No, 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 no. No, no, Bossman. Bossman. Ah, Abe, 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 Kila, Abe, no. Ah, number one, sir. Actually, Abe, no cry, no. No, no, no. Bossman, Abe, hola, hola. You be man, you be man. Strong man, be strong, be strong. Hola, hola. Hola, 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 Abe, Abe. Abe. Where is the doctor? Where is the I doctor? Calm down, calm down, please. Hello? What's happening here? Doctor, you finally killed her. Can you shut up with this man? Oh. Hello? He needs to die. An easy death. Yes. What kind of an irresponsible man are you? Who does that? You left your unconscious wife here with us for over three hours. Oh, were you expecting us to do a miracle here? When even you, the husband, came here without a dime? Can you hear what you say? After killing us, I can't. I'm finished. Yes, you would have actually been finished. If not for the timely intervention of a man who came and paid the surgical bills of your wife. Huh? Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> you mean Ashake is not dead? She's not. A man just walked in here and paid her bills right on time for the soldier. Ah! Ashaka is not ah. dead! Yeah. Ah. A man? Yes. Who? From where? You're asking me too many questions. Just follow me and see your wife. Come, let's go. Ashaka is not dead! <laughs> Ah. Wow, this is huge. This is great. Madam, have a look. Wow, oh, this is much. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, real good. Thank Amen. you so much. Let's give all the glory to God. Thank you. Madam, Thank please. You. Let's go. We love you. God bless you, sir. Amen. Children, you see, you are not without parents. You are not fatherless. God is your father. You are not motherless. Jesus is more than a mother to you. The word of God says, can a woman forget a sucking child? That she should not have compassion upon the son of her womb. Yeah, they may forget. Yet will I not forget thee. Jesus will not forget you. Amen. Amen. He loves you so dearly. My prayer for you is that you shall all be great in life. Amen. Amen. God who is your father, we continue to help me. 
Amen. to pay your school fees, your hospital bills, in Jesus' name. Excuse me. Hello, doctor. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Sorry, children. You see, as I was saying, God will continue to be with you. Amen. He will make you great in life. Amen. You shall be wonderful children. Amen. You will get there. Amen. God will announce you. Amen. And you will flourish in Amen. your life. Amen. God will bless you all. Ah, <laughs> you're welcome, sir. Please have your seat. Have your seat. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Sir, let me seize this opportunity to thank you for your timely intervention. Thank you, sir. Thank God, sir. How is she? Ah, she is doing very well. In fact, this is the husband of the lady. Yes, this is um, the pastor. This is the man. The pastor I told you about. <laughs> yes. You mean... This is the man who paid for my wife's surgery. Exactly. In fact, I forgot to tell you. This man dropped 50,000 naira for your wife. He said I should give it to her once she comes around. And in fact, he paid the bills of everybody in the world. Ah, you need to thank him very well. Pass out, thank you. Ah! Sir. Can you recognize my face? No. But the voice. Mrs. Joseph! <laughs> you have less than 60 seconds. Hello, hello. Yes, what is going on here? Oh, will someone tell me what is happening? Pastor. Yes, what is happening? Pastor. I am so overwhelmed. I feel so uneasy. Something so strong compelled me to confess. And I don't care. I am ready to face the consequences of my action. Officer, it shouldn't have been this man. Such a pleasant man of God. I shot his wife dead. The same man whose wife I killed saved the life of my own wife. If I will ever be free from the guilt of my action. Ah. Wicked world. Very wicked world. Ah, ah. Ah. Hmm. Officer. I don't know what I'm doing again. It seems that I am under the influence of something that I cannot explain. It's all right. 
Pastor Donald, so what happened? Why did you send them to kill his wife? I think you are supposed to be a man of God. Eh? Who? Who is a man of God? This one? This one a man of God? This is the devil's second in command. What is this? Uh, dear Pastor Joseph. Take that, okay? It is well. You see, the sudden demise of your wife came to all of us as a very rude shock. But who are we to question God? See, it is our prayer that the Lord God of heaven will comfort you by himself. Amen. The Holy Spirit, a great comforter, will comfort you. Amen. Pastor Donald. Father. 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 Father, look up now. Then don't they lie on top of your head. Then say you be man of God. Are you a man of God? He asked the question. So what do you have to say? Sir! Father na father! I can help you with your investigations. He has CCTV in his house. And I was in his house when the wife of this pleasant man of God came to threaten him. Ah, <sighs> oh, Mrs. Joseph. So, that's your father. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Why? Why should I be ashamed of myself? Look, there is no sin anywhere. All of us are sinners. Yourself inclusive. I have never heard such a shocking submission as this all my life, sir. You're supposed to be a man of God, sir. Fool. Mm. Look, God doesn't need any man to be God. There is no man of God anywhere. Jesus. Pastor Doda, what has come over you? Sir. You are one of the highly pleased and respected men of God in this country. My husband is a pastor under you. We trusted you. We believed in the call of God upon your life. I never knew that my father, a dreaded an occultic man in our village is the secret behind all these your professions of faith in the city. So, your professions are fake. No wonder. No wonder. As hard as we preach Jesus to my father, he kept being adamant. He said he doesn't need Jesus for anything. Because the people of Jesus we intend bringing him to are also coming to him for help. So, you're one of them. 
you are one of the so-called Jesus people who travel several kilometers to secretly visit my father for, for, for power. Hmm? Did you hear what he said when he was making a jest of me? When I told him that you are our senior pastor, he said, if it is true that you are my pastor, then is also qualified to be my pastor. Ha! Pastor Donald, why? Is Jesus no longer enough or what? My father boasted in his drunken state yesterday after you hurriedly left his place in shame. Have you realized that I am his daughter? He said he made you. He said he has used two different young ladies for the rituals to make you famous and powerful. Hmm. To say that all this, your atrocities are so scary and incredible is an understatement. Pastor Donna, how, how, how do I explain this to my husband who has so much trust in you? I shouldn't have known this. I shouldn't. This is shattering and so devastating for me. I love you. This is yourself. I think I've had enough of this your antics. Useless and senseless antics. Like us. You know what? Just do me a favor. Get out. No problem. I will stop the rats, but I promise you, as the Lord lives, that I will ex expose this shameful heart of yours to the world. I will tell the secret to every man and woman in this country. Not only in this country, tell you who are. your so-called man of God is a disgrace to the body of Christ. He must dance to the music of his atrocities. Pastor Donald, why? Why are you this obsessed with worldly privileges? You went too far, sir. You went as far as killing my wife? only threatened you, but meant not what she said. She didn't even tell me. Wow. I'm just knowing this. Wow. <sighs> Pastor Donald, I don't really understand again. I am so confused right now. Why are we so preoccupied with the splendor of the world? that lasts but just for a while. 
Is this what now our final abode? I thought I could hide my secret. It is true that nothing is hidden that shall not be revealed. Pastor Joseph, I need no one to tell me that the Holy Spirit has departed from me long ago. But then, I'll still let you know that this world is not a home to any man. All of us, every man will depart this world one day, no matter how influential or how greedy, selfish, godless any man can be. All these worldly possessions that many of us desperately went after will mean nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing to us again. A voice says, cry out. And I asked, what shall I cry? And he says unto me, all men are like grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall. Surely men are like grass. I wish that all men everywhere will take note of this bitter truth that nothing lasts forever. Rubbish. Whether you're wealthy, whether you're famous, it no matter which thing you get, you could leave them all.